Little Gems Creations one. Today we are going to be working on some crochet dog booties and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations one. Today we're making these dog booties. So I've already made one. I haven't hid my threads yet, but I made one. This is the tie that we're going to weave through here. So I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm going to start with the light blue for the bottom. And you are going to start by crossing your yarn. And we're going to chain two. Okay. Now I'm going to go into that very first chain that I made and I'm going to put my tail around the hook. See what I've done there? Then I'm going to take my yarn, pull through that chain, yarn over and go through the two loops. That's a single crochet. We're going to put six single crochets into that chain catching our tail the whole way around. So I've got three, four, five, and six. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and we're going to chain up one. This is what we have so far. So you see how my center um, you can see through it. See? If we did it right, when we pull our tail, it should cinch that center right up. If, you, if it doesn't, don't panic. You can use the tail to sew that closed. We are going to put two single crochets in every stitch around, which will give us 12 single crochets in the end. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to go into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through the two loops. That's a single crochet. And then we're going to do it again. And we're just going to keep doing that two single crochets in each stitch around until you have 12 stitches. Do that and meet me back. Once you've gone all the way around, I want you to slip stitch into that first stitch and chain up one. We're going to do one more increase row. So this round we're working in threes. So I want you to go into that first stitch. We're going to put two single crochets into that first stitch. And then we'll put one single crochet on its own in the next stitch. So this is working in three. So this is how I do it. I did one, two in the first stitch, three is on its own. Then, oops, then I do four and five together. Six is on its own. Seven and eight are together. 9 is on its own, 10 and 11 are together, 12 is on its own, 13 and 14 are together, 15 is on its own, 16 17 together, 18 is on its own. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to get to 18 stitches. So now I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch. This time we're chaining up two. So this is the pad of the booty, okay? So if you're looking here, it's the pad of the booty. It's nice and thick, okay? So what we're going to work on now is this part to, that 
encloses the rest of the paw. If you wanted the pad of the booty thicker, just use a strand of your main color and your contrasting color and use them at the same time to do what we just, just did. If you want a thicker pad. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've chained up two. We're gonna start doing half double crochets. To do a half double crochet, you do yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through all three loops. You do this until you have 18 half double crochets. The chain two does not count. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've got my 18 stitches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start working in a spiral, okay? And we're doing this, so if you look in my booty, we don't really have anywhere except for one little spot that um, shows joins. Do you know what I mean? And that's because we worked in the spiral. So I'm going to show you how to get that by working in a spiral. So we're ending here. There's our chain two. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna skip that chain two. We're going right into that next stitch, not the chain two. Pull through and go through all three loops. We're still working in half double crochet. And you're gonna work this for a total, including the row you have already done, of six rows. So here is how you see your rows. Sorry, stuck in my work. So you see here, we have one row and then two rows. And this is a shorter row, those are the single crochets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a total of six rounds. Sorry, I called them rows, but they're actually rounds. And what the way you can tell when you've got six is when you look on this side of your crochet hook and you've got six rounds and you count on this side of your crochet hook and you've got six rounds. So see here I've got two, but on this side I've only got one. So I keep going. So do this until you have six rounds. Then meet me back. Okay, so I've got my six rows. And like I said, on this side, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this side, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch. Okay. We're going to make our loop big. We're going to cut a tail, pull your tail through your loop. And that's the bottom of the dog booties. So that's that part, okay? And what you did by making that slip stitch is you made it so that it's pretty much level with where we started, okay? Now taking your contrasting yarn, and today I'm using black, go into where you just finished Grab your yarn. Now how I do that is I hold my yarn at the back, pull a loop through, and we're gonna chain up four. So three of the chains is to act as a double crochet, and the fourth chain is to accommodate a space, okay? So I'm just gonna tuck that tail in the center, get it out of the way for both colors. If you wanna tie them in a knot, you can do that too. So now we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet in the stitch after. So skip this one, go into this one. Yarn over your hook, into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through the last two loops. That's a double crochet. 
we're gonna chain one, skip one, and we're doing another double crochet into that next stitch. I want you to repeat this all the way around and then meet me back. So I've gone all the way around and now we're back at that chain four. So in the third chain, so it's hard to see because it's black, but there's one chain, two, three in the third. Oh, and you've already chained one off of this double crochet. We're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the chain four. Okay, slip stitch. We're going to chain up two and we're going back to half double crochets. We are going to do a half double crochet into the space and then a half double crochet into the stitch that's the post. Half double crochet into the space, half double crochet into the post. Do this all the way around. You should end up with 18 stitches, not counting the chain two as a stitch, okay? Do that, meet me back. Now your last stitch should be going into the chain, or the, the stitch above the post here. Okay, doing your half double crochet. Now, just like we did for the base of the booty, we are going to spiral. So yarn over, don't go into that chain, you're going into the stitch, okay? And we're gonna do this until we have a total of three rounds. This round down here counts as one, okay? And just like before, you're counting on both sides of your crochet hook. So see, here's one round, there's the second round, but on this side of the crochet hook, I only have one round done. So you want a total of three rounds and then meet me back. Now, like we did last time, I've got three rounds on this side and three rounds on this side. So now we're just gonna slip stitch into that very next stitch. Make your loop big, cut a tail, Pull your tail through your loop, pull tight. And there's another booty complete. But we need the tie still. So you're gonna take both strands at the same time and the same size crochet hook. And we are going to chain 70, seven zero seventy. So do that and meet me back. Okay, so I've got my 70 stitches. I'm gonna cut my yarn. I am going to pull my yarn through my loop, pull tight. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna hide your threads, right? And I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial. I have a short that shows you how I hide threads. Um, you can go check that out. I'll even link it in the description. So here's how you thread it through. So you just take your tie and you know put it to the side you like the best and you just thread it through. course you will have hidden your threads first. Oh, and you will have trimmed these. I'll show you after I'm done threading. Okay, so you end up coming back out. And then, okay, so let me show you how I do this. Pull this really tight. And then I usually just hold the yarn like you see hair cutters hold, hold hair and I cut like that. 
and that's what I do. So it's not tight, tight to the knot, but it's not all of this, right? Same to the other side. Do the finger cut. And then when you put it on your dog, so it's got a little bit of stretch because you know, crocheting doesn't have as much stretch as knitting, but uh, that helps too, keeping it on your dog's foot. And then you just tie it on, put a bow, and there you go. There is your dog booty. So if this was helpful at all, please hit that subscribe button. I do new videos every Thursday. And uh, check that description, all kinds of goodies in the description. What else do I need to tell you? <laughs> I think that's about it. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. Oh, one more thing. You got to make the other ones. <laughs> so I got two. I got two more to make. You want to make your all four, right? Okay, that's it. I'm done for real this time. Bye now. Bye.